Welcome in to SupercrossLive.com's After the Checkered Flag. Ralph Sheen and Ricky Carmichael from here in Houston. When we just wrapped up the Triple Crown for 2019, and that title goes to Cooper Webb. He also won the overall here tonight, and he just, everything he did tonight just showed what champions are all about. Well, that's right. He's building blocks. He has all season long. The last couple of weeks haven't been that well for haven't gone that well for him and um, you know what he put himself in perfect positions he did the same thing kind of when the when when he was down and out at the last triple crown race that we went to and uh, he got starts he did better than any of his competitors did that are going for this championship the title contenders and uh, that's what championships do, champions do yeah and he extended his points lead over the title contenders chasing him there was some controversy in race number one when he and Marvin Muskan started to get together and bump bars and he even pushed Marvin off the track in the sand section, they trained together, they got some more rounds to go together, they're gonna to share that truck together. How tense is this gonna to be to the finish? Yeah, it's gonna be really tense and uh, you know what, it's every man for themselves and I can tell you there are no team orders. Uh, we saw that tonight, these guys are going for it. Marvin was trying to send a message and we talked about this, Ralph. I think it was a battle of the minds in that first main event tonight. You know, um, Marvin Muskan went to make a pass really early on Cooper Webb. Cooper didn't like that. He probably thought it was a little on the aggressive side that early in the race. And I'm gonna tell you, Cooper, Cooper didn't like it. He made a couple stabs to get Marvin Muskan back and ended up winning that battle. And then Marvin let it snowball after that. And uh, it really, the, the box score doesn't show it, but it wasn't a great night for Marvin Muskan, and it was a battle of the minds, and in my opinion, Cooper Webb won it. That right there was like, you know, Marvin was saying, hey dude, I'm winning this championship. Cooper Webb said, not so fast, I'm winning it. Yeah, I do think it's interesting though, because Marvin showed a, a mental toughness uh, and some aggression that maybe we haven't seen out of him much. Well, he did, and, and each year I feel that he gets a little more aggressive and does what he needs to do, because in years past he has been a little light on that. And I'm not saying you have to go out there and clean some guy off the track, but you got to hold your ground and you have to use the track up a little bit more, you know, to make a pass and, and you, use it. That's what it's there for. And uh, he, he did that. He's getting a lot better at it. He's riding more aggressive, just like charging and stuff. When he's hitting obstacles, when his tire's on the ground, he's really riding hard. He's braking harder. And uh, he's always been technical. He's a technic, I mean, technique-wise, he's some of the, one of the best in the business. So uh, it's been fun to watch, but he still has some work to do. And quickly, 250 West, Dylan Ferrandez now. Two wins in a row. And that title chase gets real tight, but they got a week off. Yeah, they get a week off, and Dylan Ferrandez is probably thinking he wishes it was going to Denver next weekend. But unfortunately yeah. for him, we're not. We're going back to the East Coast. We're racing Nashville next week, and uh, it's on a roll. And sometimes when a guy can get their first win, the other ones come a lot easier. And he actually said so earlier today when we saw him on the track walk. He's like, "Man, it feels so good the first one. Out, so good to get the first one out of the way." And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to trying to get another one. And that's what he did. It was a, it was a rough night for Adam Cianzarulo. He's kind of a victim of circumstance, but I got to give it up to AC. He said, "You know what? I could blame it on this guy. I could blame it on that guy falling in front of me." But he made the mistake. And as a champion, that's what you have to do. You have to own your mistakes and move forward. Yeah, we move forward to Nashville next week. We'll be there and we'll have it live for you on NBCSN at 8 p.m. Eastern.